Hello viewers, a very good evening and welcome to Africa in Beyond Television Network. We are taking a look on what is happening in the nation Zimbabwe without fear, without favor. And uh, we are taking a look onto this report which suggests that Zimbabwean scientists um, have discovered uh, a treatment for Alzheimer and melanoma uh, cancer. So, you know, this is something very important because it cures. This is um, a, a very good development. If this is true, this is a very, very, very good uh, treatment. They say is, uh, they have a technology called Rutava, which is able to get cancer cells only, which raises hope for cure of all cancers. So, if this is then finally proven and um, uh, licensed, it, it, it will be a, a groundbreaking uh, discovery. So Zimbabwean scientists on this, they say that they've discovered a cure for Alzheimer's disease and, uh, there was, uh, and also announced that they've developed a groundbreaking treatment for melanoma skin cancer. And uh, this is Professor Simon Mukwembi, uh, who is the lead scientist on the project who say that through a computer system they are calling Rutava developed or this cancer cells and does not interfere with the healthy cell, uh, cure of all cancers. So this report or sorry, this research was conducted with support from the University of Wiz Water and in the University of Johannesburg in South Africa and uh, was limited to the treatment of melanoma and algema, he said. So this is critical very important and uh, at this point in time a very very good and noble discovery so journalists were told at a conference in Harare that um rutava can be recalibrated uh, reca for other uh, diseases so it's a, it's a, it's it's a good discovery a very 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 uh, good research and uh, we hope and believe that this is going to come and uh, it will be able to 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 raise the the, the standards in the southern africa uh, hemisphere if you take a look on um, the people living with uh, albinism these are the most affected people because they are affected with the skin cancer uh if you go to 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 arare uh, where your cancer treatment has been happening you will find these people um, topping the lists and it's a very sad situation because they need to be protected and if there is a cure then it becomes an advantage uh, for them. It is my hope that if that discovery is made these people will be able to be get treated for free. This is my hope. So this, it, uh, this development is likely going to uplift the southern uh, region of the African continent as well as the African continent because it will be a technology and a medication from our own area, which means other countries and other regions will have to rely uh, 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 to, to, from from us, we have to to look up to us for them to to to, to get such kind of treatments. So you see that um, you know a lot of people will be happy especially for those who have been going uh, or undergoing chemical therapy uh, radiotherapy etc if there is an uh, other method to treat them it will become more easier and less expensive for our people which means we will then outdo the need for radiotherapy or to do the need for chemotherapy in the event that these medicines work and um, these uh, traditional methods will only be used uh, in cases where um, this new 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 medicine is is failed uh, so this is what is happening at this point in time but remember this is yet to go under clinical trials so we have to wait to see uh, the results of the clinical trials. So this is the team which made an announcement. These are Zimbabwean uh, scientists and it will be a plus for us as a people if this is discovered, licensed and then finalized right here in Zimbabwe. But remember, it has been uh, in partnership with two universities in South Africa, which means South Africa will also likely be involved in all this. So this is it, Team Zimbabwe. We'll see what is going to happen next, but this is the report which we have.